Loads and Dove, welcome to Australian Musician and the Melbourne Guitar Show. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, you had a, a gig at the Cherry Bar last night, how was it? Late. Very late. And yeah. great. It was really good. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah. Loud and fast. Did you uh, manage to get any sleep? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Five hours. Yeah. So oh. how, how long is your, uh, <laughs> your, your set generally these days? Uh, we can do up to an hour usually, like 45 to an hour, but last night was just a half hour set, so it was all the fast songs, mm. go, go, go. Yeah. Um, when did the band first come together and what was the goal to begin with? Yeah, um, Nikki hit me up to collaborate on a song and uh, yeah, like she, uh, sent sent through a verse and a chorus and some chords and uh, we, uh, I wrote the second verse and the lead lines and um, it went from there. Yeah, I've been playing solo for a while and we've all played in bands before um, and yeah, I just thought that the sounds together would be really cool and it worked and I think it's tonight is our, like, Two year anniversary of our first gig together, so that's cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, was this the original lineup? Of yeah. Lords and Dove, yes. Oh, okay. Um, are there artists that you're collectively into? You, did you find through discussion that you're into the same albums growing up? Yes and no. Yeah. Like, we're very, very diverse, but that's what makes it good, I think. But then there's some things that we're all like, yes. Mm. So what are the essential albums that you all listen to? <laughs> we all like Tool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not like... We don't sound anymore. anything like Tool, but we all like Tool. <laughs> um, uh, it's like 90s Australian alternative. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys remember about your first gig? Uh, being nervous, but also um, Nikki skipped a whole chorus in a song, and we just, we just played through it. It was incredible. No one noticed. <laughs> cool. It was great. Nikki ruined everything, but it was fine. That's it. We got away with it. It was like a bank robbery. Yeah. It was seamless. Yeah. Uh, what would you consider to be the band's highlights so far? Recording our album. Yeah. Yeah, uh, recording the album because we recorded that ourselves um, over about eight months, I think. Um, the Scream Feet gig was pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, we played with Children Collide, that was really good. Body Type. We've had some really nice, good shows in the last year or two, mm. and um, we know, like, we're really grateful for that because we know, you know, how hard it's been in the past few years. So we're just happy to be playing and playing to people and um, doing things on our own terms as well. I think that's like the kind of vibe of this band is that we really get a lot out of that, um, driving it ourselves. But the recording ourselves has been pretty incredible, actually. Yeah, a really good experience. Yeah, you seem to be, to play quite a bit in Perth. Uh, is the live scene over there still pretty good? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's thriving. Um, there's a lot of bands in Perth and not many venues. Um, but yeah, it's it's really healthy over there. For, for like everyone's playing. Um, and yeah, like we, it's very isolated. So, you know, we've got, we've got a pretty healthy local scene going on and everybody sort of supports each other yeah. a lot. Is that a hurdle as well, being so far away? Or? It is, yeah. Like, it's, it's easy to kind of just stay in Perth because it's hard to get out of Perth. It's expensive and it's <laughs> yeah. tricky, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, but the, there's a lot of great bands that have come out of Perth and yeah. made a name for themselves. Yeah. 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 Uh, the new single, Something Dumb, what's it about and how did it come about? I wrote that riff and um, sent it to Nikki in a voice message. I wrote three at the same time. Um, I kind of just quickly smashed out three riffs. 
sort of two minutes long each, so he could write lyrics to them. And I sent them on, and she's like, that one. And I was hoping to keep it for myself, because I, <laughs> I really liked it. Um, I was sort of thinking of writing, I, I, I kind of just sort of think like, yeah, 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 it's because I'm a big fan of Nick Zinner. Um, and uh, that came out, that riff came out, and uh, I didn't know what sort of lyrics or melody to put to it, and Nikki just nailed it. So yeah, that's how it ended up a Lines and Dove song. And, uh, yeah, that's, the lyrics are kind of about spiraling and knowing that you're gonna fail and kind of surrendering to it and going, well, I'm just gonna do it. And you're all gonna have to live with that. So <laughs> <laughs> just being self-aware. <laughs> so, where are you at with recording at the moment? Done. Um, yeah. Done. We finished our album. It, we literally have just got it mastered and we're going to be sending it off for pressing in the next few weeks. And a release date? This year, probably, hopefully June, June, July. Yeah, have you got a title that you can tell us yet? It's called, oh, can we say it? Should we say it? I think we should. It's called Sucked In. <laughs> 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 was that uh, one of many title ideas? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe a couple. It's an in joke. Yeah. But we're not going to tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery. <laughs> uh, we're at the Melbourne Guitar Show. Uh, let's run through what you all play on stage. Mm -hmm. Me first. Yeah. Um, I play a blue sparkly guitar, and it's a supersonic. Um, it's part of a series they did, it was like a paranormal, it was called the Paranormal Series and the, it's cool because the headstock's flipped upside down. Some people hate it, it's really quite polarising. <laughs> people are like, why? And I'm like, because it's weird. And I ripped some um, pickups out of another guitar that I had that are gold foils and had them put in. You did that, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's had some surgeries and it's a bit Frankenstein and it's got stickers all over it and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Who else has got fab guitars? Um, yeah, I'll talk about, I'll talk about um, my guitars and pedals and Leo builds pedals so he can talk too. He's not just on the drums. Mm. Um, yeah, I play, uh, I've been playing a Stratocaster lately. Um, before that, I was very used to a Jaguar with the short scale, but um, just fell in love with Strats again because I grew up playing them and um, just Squires and stuff. But yeah, at the moment I'm playing a Player Series limited edition Mexican Strat with an ebony fretboard, and I love it. Um, always play through PVs. We 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 all play through PVs. Um, both the guitars we got like. Vintage 80s solid state PVs and they're really fun. Um, Again, polarizing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and the pedals, the pedals I'm running, um, a lot of dirt. I use a DS1, which is modified by Leo. Um, Leo builds and modifies pedals. You can get a DS1 sounding like a clon. <laughs> and. Uh, I fucking love them. Um, any, anything I can run on maximum and it just sounds good and I don't have to think about any settings is my favourite sort of thing. And I, so I get Leo to tweak them so I can just run everything on max, um, which is really fun. And um, yeah, I've got, got a bunch of guitars, but the Strat's the main one at the moment. It does yeah. everything. And Leo? Uh, yeah, I, I play drums. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I played guitar for years um, and got really into modifying pedals just because I, um, I got curious, I guess. I was wondering, like, why does it sound that way? Um, uh, and yeah, just started building like super hard on clones and modifying off pedals and fell in love with DS ones because they're so, they're like this close to being an excellent pedal. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> 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 
Um, and yeah, I think, I think it's a modif one of my modified DS ones on both of your boards at the moment. Yeah. Um, which is fun. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And Olga at the base? I've been playing the same P bass for 20 years. Maybe I'll buy a new one one day. <laughs> well, why would That's you? It. Yeah, would exactly. You? It's trusty. It's great. This is going to take all over it. Does the job. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan for the rest of 2023 for the band? Um, we're going to put our album out. We have our own label that we're going to put it out through and we want to tour at the end of the year, do a more extensive East Coast tour. Um, yeah, I think we just want to grow as a band and then and keep writing and we've got a studio that we work out of um, that's ours and we're pretty driven at the moment so we're just really trying to capitalise on this time that's quite special and cool. Yeah. Is there a grand plan? Well, there's always like world domination, yeah. but like, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think we're, we're kind of like at a point where we're laying some foundations to have a nice solid thing that we can continue for a long time, like it's not something that is a flash in the pan, it's like we're quite committed to having some longevity out of this project, this band, and it's a little family and yeah. It's good. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> well, Lonesome Dove, thanks for uh, checking in and visiting us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for having us.